Determine whether the sequence converges or diverges, and if it converges, we should find the limit. Let's go ahead and actually prove that it converges to zero, and the reason I'm saying it converges to zero is because the sine function is uh, trapped or bounded between one and negative one, and the bottom is growing, so um, you know this is bouncing back and forth, possibly you know between multiple numbers between these though. The smallest it can be is negative one. The biggest it can be is one, so it's kind of, it's trapped. The bottom is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this should approach zero. So let's go ahead and prove it using something called the squeeze theorem. So when you're using the squeeze theorem, um, you take whatever is here and you put it in the middle. So sine of the square root of n, or sorry, n over the square root of n. Oh, I don't like that color. It's a little bit uh, hard to see. <laughs> And now we want to show that this is trapped between two other sequences um, that approach zero. So we can use this, right? This is less than or equal to one. And then we can use this piece and it's greater than or equal to negative one. And now we just have to explain why this one and this one go to zero. We just have to state it. So the limit as n approaches infinity of this one well, when n gets really, really, really big, n's on the bottom and it's getting big, this fraction gets small, so this approaches zero. Let's do this one now, limit as n approaches infinity. Same thing, n is getting really, really, really big, this fraction gets small, so this also approaches zero. This is trapped in the middle, so therefore this also approaches zero by the squeeze theorem, so let's write it. So thus, the limit, as n approaches infinity of the sine of n over the square root of n is equal to zero, and this is by the squeeze theorem. And that would complete our proof. So it does converge, the answer is converges, that was you know, one of the questions, and the limit is zero. That's the limit of the sequence, and we proved it. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Good luck.